what's up guys welcome back to lion mark tv well still on this whole issue concerning the video and the loss of his beloved son if i up to you this hour there's not been any official news from the video family but all close members people who are very very close to the video i mean like people he respects both home and abroad have been showing solidarity the whole day well just like we anticipated and we saw this coming actually a lot of international shows bookings are being cancelled the video actually has a festival in atlanta which is a journey him telling his journey on how he started his whole career in atlanta it's called the away festival it was supposed to be held um november 18th which is this month 18 days from now but we all know that there's no way the video can recover from this kind of shock in 18 days so it's already cancelled that one is cancelled or actually promote postponed till whenever the concert would hold and also his billionaire pastor friend also cancelled so many shows this is his for the past 18 years everybody knows 11 11 is special to me not just because it's my birthday but november as a whole is a month where everybody comes together celebrate me celebrate the nation family this year we've even planned it bigger people have bought ticket i wanted to release a video today saying welcome to november month of blessings and all that but unfortunately all this has to be cancelled this video for me is not a condolence video because i know those who are affected personally i know the couple are affected but why am i then saying this because of the people that i need to reach quickly to say the plans for 11 11 is hereby cancelled we all have to stand in faith with the bereaved. I'm a father. I understand what it means for people to lose their loved ones. I've been a pastor for 18 years. And so we're all standing in solidarity. I want this video to go quickly to those who might be able to retrieve their ticket money, might be able to take their gifts back and all those stuff. I want them to be aware quickly also the service that we plan for the 13th of november is already we already have more than three thousand registered we would have to downsize it to just about a thousand people we're going to worship and pray trusting god to take the couple through these difficult times it is a very hard time for us as well we've put our hold into november but it is not worth a life and for this life we all stand to pray we're all in a sober moment and may god strengthen the family and all the families that are mourning all over the world god bless you is that topic? <laughs> My name is Toby. You can call me Toby. Don't it's worry pity. about Kitty. No, call me Toby. It's okay, Kitty. Call me Toby. Call me Toby. He's the richest uncle. He has all the money. He's the richest uncle. Everything. Great, great. 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 Uncles that never ask you for money when you grow up. <laughs> this one's gonna give you money. <laughs> the uncle you break lobster. Is that this? Is that okay? Money? I have money. Real money. Real money. Real money. Not he can touch anything. He can break it. Break it. <laughs> yeah, oh, break what? it. Cut oh. everything.
pays to be a good person in the society you know supporting the society the best way you can um somebody was actually saying which of which actors in nigeria will ever have lost his loved one and get this kind of global lockdown shutdown of concert postpone of shows and all of that well we know all we all react differently to um people and the way we show our love to them and i feel davido has our hearts and because of the things he has done the lives he has touched in the society at large both home and abroad yes like i earlier reports today the um nanny and eight others were arrested and are still being interrogated and also there's this pastor who actually claimed that he had saw the death of ifa in some months back and he gave a prophecy but it was not adhered to and this whole thing is not actually new to him a lot of controversial issues have been going on in the internet lately but another very surprising thing that will really shake the world and a lot of people are already missing and feeling that at least it's it should be something that would have not happened is you know the video was supposed to play to perform at the uh, uh, opening ceremony of the world cup we all know he did a song um some months back for a soundtrack for the official world cup of um, 2022 and he was supposed to play at the opening games in qatar but all of those things are cancelled and completely postponed till further notice thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe drop a comment in the comment section you know we value that here a 